So welcome back everybody to week 66 of my reboot progression series. This week is all about the performance, which is why I'm going to take you out of the game into my office slash gaming room, because in this episode, we are going to be replacing this bad boy right here. My old gaming PC, it probably was good many, many years ago, but it doesn't hold up anymore. So I'm really looking forward to replacing it. CPU. This is gonna be the most important thing if you want to be playing MapleStory in the year 2024. The game doesn't really care about your GPU at all. And if you notice, there isn't even a GPU here because I'm gonna be reusing my old NVIDIA GTX 980, I think? Yes, 980 from my previous PC until I find a deal or really have the need to upgrade. But the goal of this build is gonna be to create the perfect base to upgrade from, which is why we will be replacing so many parts but the GPU. Huh. Whoa. Patterns. That make for a good build. Patterns. Oh. So without further ado, how to build a PC. Step one, picking the parts. Okay, I have the parts already. Uh, this is the motherboard and it comes in this special plastic bag. And I suppose, wait, there's not a lot of stuff in here. Oh no! Wiggle wiggle! And... oh! Okay, go back in the video. Before closing the retention mechanism, give it a little wiggle once it's down to make sure it's seated completely before closing the retention mechanism and pushing the latch down. If it feels a little stiff and creaky, that's okay. It's supposed to. And then the plastic socket cover is going to kind of pop off. You'll need this in case you need to arm. Okay, so give it a little wiggle. Okay, and now push down. Oh, yeah, this feels really rough. Okay, this just popped off, like he said. Now I'm gonna keep pushing down. Yeah. Okay, oh wow, this was. You know, with how pricey these things are, you really don't want to mess it up, right? So, I think I did an okay job. On ASUS, for example, DIMM A1, DIMM B1, DIMM A2, DIMM A3, DIMM A4, DIMM A5, DIMM A6, DIMM A7, DIMM A8, DIMM A9, DIMM A10, DIMM A11, DIMM A12, DIMM A13, DIMM A14, DIMM A15, DIMM A16, DIMM A17, DIMM A18, DIMM A19, DIMM A20, DIMM A21, DIMM A22, DIMM A23, DIMM A24, DIMM A25, DIMM A26, DIMM A27, DIMM A28, DIMM A29, DIMM A30, DIMM A31, DIMM A32, DIMM A33, DIMM A34, DIMM A35, DIMM A36, DIMM A37, DIMM A38, DIMM A39, DIMM A40, DIMM A41, DIMM A42, DIMM A43, DIMM A44, DIMM A45, DIMM A46, DIMM A47, DIMM A48, DIMM A49, DIMM A50, DIMM A51, DIMM A52, DIMM A53, DIMM A54, DIMM A55, DIMM A56, DIMM A57, DIMM A58, DIMM A59, DIMM A60, DIMM A70, DIMM A71, DIMM A72, DIMM A73, DIMM A74, DIMM A75, DIMM A76, DIMM A77, DIMM A78, DIMM A79, DIMM A80, DIMM A81, DIMM A82, DIMM A83, DIMM A84, DIMM A85, DIMM A86, DIMM A87, DIMM A88, DIMM A89, DIMM A90, DIMM A91, DIMM A92, DIMM A93, DIMM A94, DIMM A95, DIMM A96, DIMM A97, DIMM A98, DIMM A99, DIMM A100, 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 DIMM A100,
Okay, so this is all stuff from the liquid cooler that I bought. Here's the thing to screw on and other plates or something like that. And here's the main brick itself. It has pre-applied thermal paste, which should do the trick, I'm pretty sure. The only thing that comes in paper with this thing is the safety compliance and warranty information. So no actual, you know, how to use this thing. Uh, so no manual, no nothing. I hate it. Like, why, why do they have to do it like that? Okay, it's been uh, legit hours, I think. <laughs> Installing the uh, radiator, which is this thing here, was a complete pain because now it is blocking these fans here in the front which you can't really see through the glass panel at all. And now you can't see them from this side either. So the case that I bought is compatible with this setup, but it's probably not the best. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But at the same time, I don't really want to buy a case that is bigger than this. So I guess I have to deal with it. And I have to live with, you know, just having colorful fans from the top, which are not yet installed. Before I'm ripping out my own graphics card out of my PC and make it basically unusable, I decided to steal the graphics card from my wife's PC because she has the exact same graphics card, also the uh, Nvidia 980. So that's all good, I guess. <laughs> but it is so late now, I'm going to bed instead of doing anything else now. <laughs> Look at this monster. <laughs> Look at this monster of a graphics card. The GTX. Oh my god. 980. <laughs> uh, if I haven't said anything about it yet, I'm pretty sure I have at this point, but the graphics card is the odd one out in this PC build. It doesn't really fit because it's so underpowered, right? For MapleStory, it's mm -hmm. good enough, right? But I think I'm gonna graduate from playing MapleStory once the reboot nerf really hits. If it hits. And I know, you know, it's a lot of copium to say it doesn't hit, etc. But, you know, if it hits, there's really no point in continuing to play this game. And, yeah, at the same time, I bought so many new parts because, and I'm also not 100% sure if I said anything about it yet, I am thinking about just gifting my old PC, including this graphics card right here, to my cousin, who's like 10 years old. He really wants to play the Java version of Minecraft. Uh, he has the Bedrock version for like Nintendo Switch and, you know, his tablet. And every time we, we call, like, he talks about the Java version and he asks me, oh, can you also do this in the Java version? Can you also do this in the Java version? So the old PC, including this graphics card, once I've, you know, upgraded, will be sent over. Not sent over, I will bring it over. <laughs> and we'll install Minecraft together and that's going to be a really good time, I hope. I think. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, I think I have plugged everything in and we should be ready for our first test launch here. If you want to check, I've plugged in my monitor into the graphics card. This is my mouse and yeah, don't focus too much on what's going on behind here. The LEDs and fan wiring is basically all over the place also. Not really sure what to do about this, but I've kind of tried my best here. And yeah, this is my light. <laughs> I can just uh, twit, 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 twit. I, yeah, it was super useful. And yeah, okay. Let's uh, switch this all on. On. And now if everything should work, the... <sighs> System should power up and so let's go. No, nothing happens. Oh no, it's on, it's set to on, it's plugged in. Oh no, oh god, 
I just hit the reset button instead of the power switch and the system turned on. I think that might indicate what I did wrong here. Uh, I might have switched these to... Uh, it doesn't really focus, but I think I switched these two wrong and now it is... Uh, I don't think the blinking red is any good indication here. I tried to force power down maybe. Okay, let's let me hold the reset. Okay, yeah, just by that, me having to hold down reset, powers down the system, clearly means that I wired the reset and the on off wrongly or in the, in the wrong order. So, as it turns out, Mr. Linus Tech Tips was wrong and I had to plug my. <laughs> monitor into the main board <laughs> and yeah, even though it is flashing red I can boot into the BIOS customization and I've plugged my keyboard in right here so let's take a look what's gonna happen here okay and there we go CPU temp 56 that's really high I think, not 100% sure, <laughs> I think that's high, I think it's supposed to be like 40, something like that, oh no, look at this, 60, and rising, I'm pretty sure the cooler is not working. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the power cord, do you see anything suspicious here? Yeah, this isn't fully plugged in. Yep, that might be the issue here. So the color is back and maybe stays around this time. It's hard to tell right now. Yeah, it seems so. Everything's super colorful. It looks really shitty on my phone, to be honest. And this is a new phone, right? In real life, it looks, I think, actually really cool. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Whoa! This was at 87 previously. And now we are at 30. We are here, I think. Wait, there's no SATA? Oh, no, wait. That's correct. Uh, the mouse is on the other table. Aha! Oh, I hope... Oh, I hope that's fine, actually. M to B, maybe it should have been in the M to A slot. Oh, and then here, the smart fan output is only saying I have one fan. Can that be true? That might be true, but I'm not 100% sure. You can see the RAM is installed in the proper slots. No, also not in the... What? No. A1... A2, B1, B2? I have to check that again. I'm, I feel like I made so sure that it's correct, but it's been, you know, nearly a week and I can't even remember anymore. But okay, the, the CPU is correctly recognized. I see 32 gigs of RAM, okay. The memory frequency is there, I guess. <laughs> It's been a couple of weeks, I think, honestly, since the last clip, which is kind of cringe, right? I know most people would build their PC all in one shot, but I didn't really have the motivation to do so. And I got finally around to continuing. I created the boot stick. It's currently still inserted. And yeah, I was of the impression that my Windows would just be activated on its own, you know, since it's all in one account, but apparently my Windows is not yet activated, which is completely fine. I'm installing a bunch of programs right now, and then yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, so here we are in game for the first time in what feels like forever, but now it's time to test out the new computer. I would say I will just do my dailies 
And let's check if I still am lagging when I hit the first mob after logging in. That's a pretty good indicator, I think. So let's try. Oh no. Ah! There was a little bit of a lag, but it's it was way different. Way, way, way different. On screen, you are seeing my wonderful graphics card in the top section uh, on the left side of the screen right uh, you'll see fan speeds and you know the load on it and below that you'll see the new cpu that i have with its corresponding temperature and uh, clock speed i think that's a good metric i honestly i'm you know if you couldn't tell <laughs> so far, I really don't know much about computers, but I don't have to, right? I don't have to. Anyways, I think I do want to take this into Black Mage to see if I'm lagging during P1. This is going to be the big test. Honestly, hitting a mob after logging in is already kind of a huge test for me because usually I logged in then I went to a map, but before even hitting anything, I lagged, and then I casted like one skill, and then I had like a screen freeze for like one to two seconds. <laughs> and yeah, as you've seen, nothing like that. But ah, you, you could see me double cast bite right there. I'm pretty sure that's because of the Wi Fi, because right now I'm using Wi Fi instead of, you know, being connected via cable Ethernet, yep, <laughs> that's the word uh, so yeah, there might be some connection issues, I guess I'm, I'm really unsure but I, I will figure it out if, if I need to use Ethernet, I will use Ethernet like, it's no issue it's no issue so anyways, let's head over to Black Mage okay, so here we are let me just expand this and yeah what what should be should i like fully send it <laughs> and just try it out no I, I i don't think i should fully send it uh i'm not gonna bother switching my gear around etc we are at uh, 50k luck right now without any golux set pieces equipped so we are, we are we are probably like very weak no legion no links but I mean, green pot's kind of mandatory, right? Let's see if we lag or not. And hard practice mode? Yeah, hard practice mode. I don't even remember how to bind, to be honest. I already, I already forgot it. It's crazy. Okay. I think I will need to put on Greater Dark 7 and just go left. Okay. Uh, then I guess. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did it correctly, but it was sheer coincidence, to be honest. Ah, and I did not put my uh, pull the other servant back. So yeah, big fail right there. Did I even do any damage? What? That's a... That's a little... Sus. Wait, do I do this? Little damage? That's actually crazy. Am I in extreme or what? <laughs> I did like 10% with my burst. That's uh, horrendous. That's actually horrendous. Where, where can I leave again? Oh my god. Anyways, I think that does it for for this small test. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just dying. I, I want to leave. Okay, so the other thing that I 100% want to try is Monster Park Scream, right? So, usually I did lag here quite badly. So, I can already tell it's a huge improvement because just being in this area kind of lagged. And now I have like a zero lag. So that's 
100% great. Um, yeah, but usually the worst offender when it comes to lag came after defeating the boss, so let's just skip forward to that. Okay. Uh, okay, this will just be clear, right? Oh, so close, yeah. But zero lag. Yeah, zero lag, basically. Wow, this is amazing. Ah, yeah. So anyways, I got done with my dailies now, and that should do the trick for this episode. One last thing, I can level up my sacred symbol again for Ateria, which brings us to 410 sacred force, which is amazing since this gives me the last 5% damage bonus against the mobs while I'm grinding to level 285 and yeah I mean that's great <laughs> this basically secures me to shutting the mobs which is amazing so I hope uh if you like this episode, I know it's a little bit different. Besides that, you know, if there's anything else you want me to show, go ahead and ask and I'll do it. And yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we take on the Black Mage for the first time alone. So, hope you're stoked for it. Let's check it out together and see you then. Take care everyone and bye bye.